When someone like Iris Van Herpen reaches out to you for a collaboration, you say yes. I think the best kind of collaborator is someone who is not threatened by you showing up with your best work because it forces them to bring their best work to the table. The pieces that I worked on were, for me, inspired by some of Iris's past work and also my own personal love for aquatic life and for the symmetry of nature. One of the most fundamental things I think in getting a good outcome from my work is collaboration. I believe in collaboration and although I don't get the opportunity that often because what I do is so niche, um, I was really lucky that I was introduced to the talent and the, the, the great people over at San Francisco Metalworks who were instrumental in helping me get the designs that I had in my head out into the real world. So that was my jumping off point and also wanting to create pieces that although they look really heavy were actually naturally very light because of the negative space involved in them as opposed to the positive space. So when I was designing these, I was looking at not necessarily what was going to be left, but what was going to be taken away. I don't have a lot of patience or respect for people who have lofty ideas and then can't follow through on them because my view is your idea is great, but if you don't have a way to create it or a way to implement it, then you're just a storyteller. And I'm not a storyteller. I'm a sculptor. I'm a story creator. And in that sense, I think the most important question is what story do I want to be a part of? Someone else's or my own? My work is very personal to me, as it is to most artists. And I refuse to stand in anyone else's shadow. And then again, shadows are created by directional light. It can guide you and lead you down new roads and paths. So I choose to follow the light not the shadow.